Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new series. This is Back to the Future Part 4, The Multitasking Crystal, which is of course by Daniele Spadoni, who did Back to the Future Part 3, Timeline of Monkey Island, which we played not too long ago. And we're going to jump straight back in with the sequel, um, which I'm really excited to play actually, because I really enjoyed the last one and you guys really enjoyed it as well. So I can't wait to see what this latest installment has in store for us. Um, so we're going to jump in, and remember, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video, so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, what is the game this object belongs to? This one here. Um, Crystal Shard. Do you know what? I I actually had no idea of this. Luckily, it's in the little um, guide um notepad file that comes with the game um is zach mccracken which i've not played yet um i know a lot of people have said about it um and hopefully we will play it at some point on the channel but luckily for me <laughs> we can start this game so here we go i mean the last one was great wasn't it so i am really excited for this here we go i wonder if it continues right from where Three ended. Daniele Spadoni presents. Pixel artist Davide Spadoni. I think Davide is his brother, isn't it? Monday, July the 3rd, 1655, 11 pm. Oh, it's the three headed monkey on the hoverboard. <laughs> yes, I think it does start right where we finished. Uh, was that? Hey Doc, what's happened to Carla? Don't ask. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Doc, this time we had a nice escape too. What will you do now? Going back to the past? Maybe in the time of the Far West? <laughs> oh no, Marty, I need to go to the future to repair the DeLorean's flight system. But didn't you say it was better to destroy this infernal time machine? Listen, Marty, after our recent misadventures between alternative timelines and after every I became back to life, we have to be better prepared for everything indeed doc but how was it when you were dead it was a weird experience it seemed to transcend reality as if we were inside a system <laughs> wow it sounds pretty heavy okay marty see you in the future now i have to worry about the delorean and i have to find a place where to set the trap containing william dogfish tannin it looked like he got out didn't it I don't know if that's what was happening in that little clip, but it certainly looked like he'd escaped. There we go. Back to the Future Part 4, the multitasking crystal. And I'm so hyped to play this. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much decided right after we finished 3 that I'd jump back into this series as soon as possible, but... Yeah. It's exciting. Like I said, these are the first fan games I've played, which I've really enjoyed from the point-and-click era, so... Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard this speech before, so I'll cut it short. It's going to be about... Yeah, here we go. In the likely event of a water landing, your seat cushion may be used as a flotation device. <laughs> if we lose cabin pressure, oxygen masks should appear, but don't count on it. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. I have a feeling I won't. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> What's going to happen? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Hopefully it's just the plane taking off and nothing sinister. Is that Elsa from Last Crusade and Dr. Jones behind us? 
hours pass. Kind of looks like a British Airways plane. I mean, it's not, but it kind of looks like it. Yeah, this is all Last Crusade people, isn't it? <gasps> the three-headed monkey. What the hell? Well, I guess we get our hoverboard back then. Eh, where do you think you're going? Wow, we've still got all of our invent. Okay, so we've still got the Holy Grail. We've still got the spacesuit. We've still got the Walkman. Um, that is it, though. Can we talk to any of these people? I've got to remember the controls. So that's Elsa, isn't it? It's funny, because we just played Last Crusade literally just before this. So there's um, Indy. There's um, Donovan, is it? There's Biff the Nazi. And there's the guy who we stole the Zeppelin tickets from. Uh, can we open this door up? Yes, we can. Let's go to the toilet. Uh, is there anything useful in here? There's some toilet paper. There's a sink. Uh, there's a mirror. That looks like it's about it. I reckon we're going to have to pick up some toilet paper. What do we reckon? Yep, there we go. Wasn't very much of it, it's got to be said. Can we use this sink? We can. It's going to overflow. Okay. That reminds me of um, Home Alone, the wet bandits. <laughs> Come, come back and sit down. Uh, can we... No, we can't seem to do... anything here. I mean, I'm guessing we were supposed to do this. Can we turn this off now? Oh no, we can't. Crap. Um... Oh, hang on. Can we use... Anyone who drank water from the True Grail would be granted eternal life. Can we use the Holy Grail on this? No. Um, okay. Not really sure what we've got to do here. Can we put this on? I had to replace the tank. Okay. Um, anyone who drank water from the true grub be granted eternal life. Yeah, we know that. Is there anything we can do here? We can't. We can't talk to the hostess. There must have been a reason we had to do that. Well, we're already stuck. Can you believe it? Why did we have to make that overflow? <gasps> oh. I see. Now she'll go and investigate. Makes sense. Oh no! What a mess! <laughs> Who did that? Who would do something like that on this plane? Uh, right. Do we have to... The monkey must have come in from here. Yeah, stupid monkey. Oh, there it is. Don't move! And, of course, off it goes. I feel weird. My head turns. Whoa. Where the hell am I? <gasps> it's Doctor Who. <laughs> what the hell? Doc. What? Oh, it's from um, Mani uh, Daily Tentacle. Who's that? He must be from one we haven't played. Whoa, what is this? Pl what the hell? Pretty heavy, huh? It's like some bad trip. What's going on? What? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I had a horrible nightmare. That was pretty horrible. I dreamt of a phone box. Doc was kidnapped. A strange device and a not-so-much-beautiful being. You can say that again. All right, all right, okay, McFly, get a grip on yourself. It's all a dream, just a very intense dream. I think I'd better search out for Doc and ensure he is good. Yeah, how are we going to do that? 
Oh dear. The plane is landing. I must get back to my seat. Oh, okay. But where's the monkey? Yeah, where did the monkey go? Meanwhile, in 2015. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there's Doc. Welcome to the Cafe 80s, where it's always morning in America, even in the afternoon. All I want is a Pepsi. Who, me? How did you go about it? Damn. Uh, you're good with retro games. Oh, thanks. Wild Gunman is my favourite. On Twitch, my name is Ragnetta, and I play a little bit of everything, from retro gaming to brand new titles. From the Indies to the AAA, mostly alone, but sometimes even in the company. And I chat a lot, not just video games. Twitch? Don't you know of Twitch? You're in a bad shape, oldie. Damn, I'm late. I'm sorry, but I really have to go. Well, that was weird. Let's go back to 1985. Uh-oh, it's Ghostbusters time. There's the trap. Dr. Spengler, hi, I'm Dr. Emmett Lathrop Brown. I have a ghost caught through your equipment. You know for sure what to do with it. Interesting. You must be involved with the strange phenomenon of, of time portals. We will definitely imprison the ghost that, that you have captured in our stockade unit. Thank you, Dr. Spengler, for your help. Excuse me for my disturbance. What were you working on? Studying the recent gashes in the space-time fabric, I managed to complete my calculations to create an interdimensional portal that allows access to the spirit plane. Ooh, spirit plane. Come with me and I'll show you. Is that what we want to do? Whoa, what's this place? Cool. Great, Scott. Wow, an indescribable change in pressure. The machine is activated and the interdimensional oscillator is melted. The portal is unstable. Uh oh. We hope it doesn't bring trouble. I bet it does. What trouble do you mean? Oh god, what's happening? <gasps> it's that thing. Who dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? A gash in the space-time fabric could be opened, letting anything enter our world from a parallel universe. Oh god, parallel universe. This isn't going to go well. The instability that has been created, however, prevents the crossing of the portal, but at the same time it also prevents its closure. Brilliant. Great, Scott. Can't we repair the oscillator? It was a prototype. I'm afraid it would take me some years to make another one and do the calculations to get the right interdimensional resonance frequency, given the unstable variables. Damn, I can't believe there's no other way. We would need something vibrating at the right vibration, supporting an incredible amount of energy. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I wonder if there's anything we could go for. In the meantime, on the dark face of the moon... What? Who's this? Coming back so soon. Who is that? What is that from? I don't know what that's from. I, Chaos, I command you beings from another world must retrieve my own, on my own multitasking crystal, one of the most powerful crystals of your reality. Um... Humans have the powerful crystal that I need to stabilize the gash in the fabric of the world that was open to countless to enter your universe to bring death and destruction. Oh gosh, humans? We are the ones we want to subjugate humans and steal their planet. But if they own a powerful crystal, damn, they could find a way to block our mission. Well, evanescent being... We will help you to retrieve that crystal, and there's only one way to find out the most brilliant minds of planet Earth and capture them. You'll be rewarded for this. You'll become my slaves. Oh, dun dun dun! Ah, it's... Doctor! 
These aliens are probing our mind in searching for a multitasking crystal. If my calculations are correct, they will be in the total failure because we don't own crystals. I love the free-headed monkey there saying look behind you. Uh, recently, I used a crystal thinking it was a diamond to activate my great invention, the Chronogon, a time capsule. Why did you do that, Doc? Where's that crystal now? Unfortunately, it was destroyed. The pieces were scattered over time and space, and I'm afraid I sent it all short-circuited. So this is the reason of the blackout that activated the portal. I wonder if the tentacles are going to be in this again then. Hi. I'm Simone of the... Go oh, I'm here for the stage, Dr. Spengler. But where is he? Woof. A roof, woof, woof, woof. Dot Spengler. Woof, woof. Alien abduction. Grr. I must find Doc. Okay, so we're back to Marty. I left my hoverboard home. Better not to be using it in 1985. Good idea. We don't want to be using a hoverboard in this time. Um, can we go into the town hall? Oh, what if <gasps> It's the library from Last Crusade. Oh, how long did it take us to get through this section, guys? Flipping ages, didn't it? Okay, I only get a look. The never-ending story. <laughs> Fantasia needs you. Wow, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay, here we go. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. Let's just check. Is that like a waste basket, like a bin? Yeah, a trash bin. Is there anything in the bin? It's usually something in the bin, right? What was it? Oh no, we just picked the bin up, fair enough. And we can look at that again. Wait, can we? Hang on, can we go into it? Atreyu, why do you look so sad? I have failed you, Empress. You haven't. You brought him with you. Who? The Earthling child. The one who can save us all. You knew about the Earthling child? Of course, I knew everything. My horse died. I nearly drowned. I just barely got away from the nothing. For what? To find out what you already knew? But I didn't get in touch with an earthling. Yes, you did. He has suffered with you. He went through everything you went through, and now he has come here with you. He is very close. Are we going to go into the book? Where is he? If he's so close, why doesn't he arrive? He doesn't realise he's already part of the never-ending story. Uh-oh. The never-ending story? What's that? Just as he is sharing all your adventures, others are sharing his. They were with him when he hid in the clock tower. Huh. But that's impossible. What if he doesn't appear? Then our world will disappear. How could he let that happen? He doesn't understand that he's the one with the power to stop it. This sounds pretty heavy. They can't be talking about me. Maybe he doesn't know what to do. What do I have to do? He's to give me a new name. He's already chosen it. He just has to write it out. But it's only a story. It's not real. Marty. Marty, please. <gasps> Save us. Okay, I'll give you my mother's name. Oh, what was Marty's mum's name? Oh, crap. Um... Oh god, I can't remember. It's not McFly. Rip Prover, Marty. F oh, it's in. Oh, that's in Italian. Um. Oh god, what was Marty's mum's name? His dad was George. Lorraine, wasn't it? It was Lorraine. I don't know how you spell that. Did it have double R? Yes! Why is it so dark? In the beginning, it is always dark. Fantasia has totally disappeared? Yes. 
Whoa, this is heavy. No, weight has nothing to do with it. Fantasia can arise anew from your dreams and wishes. What are you going to wish for? Then my wish is to reach for Doc. Ah, can we make that happen? Ah, <gasps> what's this? A sheet of paper. Unfortunately, my wish was not fulfilled. Only dates and places are written on it. Ah, <gasps> I wonder if we can use that to go to those dates and places in time to find the Doc. Possibly. Well, it's lucky that I've seen those films a lot of times. I just couldn't think of his mum's name to start off with. But yeah, George and, uh, George and Lorraine McFly. I can't remember her surname. To, oh, there's a bike here. Can we do anything to this bike? We can use it. We can pick it up. Okay. Um, can we leave this area? Oh god, I forgot how good the music is on this. Oh, there's an airport. Oh god. Um, okay, so we can go to all these places. Let's stay at Hill Valley for now. And we'll go inside because we are out of time. But man, what a good start. Straight into the action. I'm absolutely psyched to be playing this game again. Um, this series of games, I should say. It's really, really cool and I can't wait to play more. Uh, but that is going to do it for this one. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.